What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're on the Back to Basics Town Hall 9 account. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be practicing one of my favorite Town Hall 9 attack strategies and that's going to be Go Hobo. This attack utilizes golems, hogs, and bowlers to crush Town Hall 9s. However, <laughs> I haven't used Town Hall 9 in a long time so I'm a little bit rusty and I want to practice. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the fundamentals of this attack how to use it, how to be effective with it, and we're going to farm with it. I don't necessarily recommend farming with this army as it's pretty expensive on the Dark Elixir, and you should really be prioritizing Dark Elixir like way up here for Town Hall 9, but I want to I want to practice and I want to get better at the fundamentals of Go Hobo. But before we do that, I need to spend some gold, I need to spend some loot, and I need to tell you guys to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to use code BASH, remember go to your settings, more settings, go to the bottom, Enter code bash. It expires every seven days. You got to do it. You got to do it. And then while I'm at all of that, let's go ahead and shout out a few of you guys from yesterday's comment keyword of the day. You guys are still crushing it with the comment keyword of the day. Like it's super impressive day after day. And then for today's comment keyword of the day, let's just go with go hobo golems hogs bowlers since we're going to be practicing that let's make that the comment keyword of the day comment that down there in the bottom and i'll try to go through and heart as many of you as possible now what i'm going to do is i'm going to practice here with this today and then we'll try to take it to a war situation and practice with it in war i don't get to war a ton with this account but i, ha I have an idea I have an idea for later this week. So, uh, before we hop into this and talk about the fundamentals, we have some upgrades going. And if we're going to be using Go Hobo, we need to get this heal spell up. I've been kind of delaying it. The heal spell's got to go up. We can't put it off any longer. So, let's go ahead. Six day upgrade. Let's get that going in the lab. And then we got a, quite a bit of silver. Uh, we have eight million silver. And we have uh, one of our bows maxed out. Let's go ahead and max out this other bow. And that'll be pretty good for there. Then we got like these baby Teslas. I like to get my Teslas up early. I don't know. It's my favorite defense, so that kind of factors in, but not really. It's actually just a really nice defense. So there we go. We got some builders going. We're going to go out. We're going to farm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try to find a tough Town Hall 9. Nothing too easy. And this is going to be a sample comp. Obviously, this is going to change based on the base that you're attacking. But this one works pretty well. So like I said, I'm going to go out. I'm going to find us a base. And we'll see what we can attack. All right, guys, quickly. We only get 30 seconds. So the objective of the Go Hobo is you got to take out the enemy queen with your kill squad. You got to take out the clan castle with your kill squad. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in up here with our kill squad. And then that'll also take out a chunk of the base, allowing us to hog around the outer rim. I know that's a lot to take in, but I'll, show, I'll explain as I go. Always be aware of corner huts. So let's go ahead. We'll throw our first golem in. And then we'll throw a couple wizards in behind just to help the funnel. The other golem over here, again, a couple wizards to funnel. Test wall breaker, just make sure there's no uh, little bombs there that are going to make our wall breakers not go off. Then we're going to go ahead and go king, queen, bowlers right up the middle. And then we're going to jump right on through this compartment. Nice. And then we'll rage right in here. We'll take down the enemy queen. And then what you're going to usually do is use your higher level clan or poison on whatever might come out of the clan castle. Uh, we actually do get clan castle troops here. Wow, okay, that's good. Ooh, and I missed a witch. Oh no, that could be actually pretty bad. All right, so while all this stuff is still going, and we have some tanking going around, I'm going to go ahead and start my hogs. So we have a lot of stuff up the middle still tanking and working. So we'll go ahead and put it in our hog portion. This is actually a pretty decent base. And then what you want to do is get your cleanup kind of in behind everything. We'll throw in our first heal here as that wizard tower is about to start hitting. And that should be pretty decent, guys. Oh, yeah, we get through here pretty nicely. That was a pretty decent base, too. I'm happy about that. I am happy about that. Like I said, I haven't played Town Hall Night in a while. So I was kind of worried about my hog skills, but as long as you stick to the fundamentals, taking out that enemy queen with the, the kill squad, taking out the clan castle with your kill squad, and then whatever extra buildings you can get, if you can get to the enemy king, that's always really nice. But this attack is super effective. Like I said, one of my favorite Town Hall 9 attack strategies. It's going to teach you the fundamentals of how to use hogs, which you could use this at like Town Hall 10 and stuff as well. It's just something that you need to practice and get good with. At Town Hall 8, you can really start using hogs, similar armies to this. But the bowlers in the clan castle make a huge difference on this. That adds a lot of splash damage to get over those walls for your kill squad, and it gets a lot more value in the kill squad. So I definitely think it's important to get as high level bowlers as you can get in there. If you can't get bowlers, consider running like Valkyries. But there we go. We get the first three star right there. A nice solid raid. I'm not like really going to keep track of loot or anything 
for this episode, I'm more worried about teaching the fundamentals of the Go Hobo, and then we'll upgrade our heroes at the end, but let's hit another one. That one felt really good. All right, guys, this style seems to be a pretty common design as well. We got the queen up, we got bows up. I wanna find bases that are active. So what we're gonna do again, we wanna take out the queen, potentially the clan castle. So we're gonna come in with a golem here, a golem here, Wizards on the outside to funnel, we'll wall break her in right there, and then we'll jump to the core, and then we'll probably hog down and around this side. So let's make that happen. Uh, easier said than done, right? Oh no, I didn't get all my X's off. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna start on the top because I don't want that queen actually taking out my wizards, so or taking out the golem too fast. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the top side here. We'll go ahead and get the test wall break in. Wall breaks are fine. Let's go ahead and get through there. That should allow us to get into the middle of the base. We'll go ahead and jump here. We'll rage through this compartment. Wizard's actually gonna get down that archer tower. Nice. Awesome, look at those bowlers go to work. That's why you get bowlers. That range right there is amazing. So while everything's working in the core, let's go ahead and start our hogs around the outside here. We'll let them do their thing. And then we'll kind of let them all meet up here. All right, so hogs, hogs doing good things. Nice and positive, we'll hit the queen's ability. Be patient on your heels, don't rush your heels too much. Uh, we'll, we will drop one in right here. Let's go ahead and get our cleanup in because we don't have a ton of cleanup. That's the one downside about this comp that I'm running. It probably needs more cleanup, but we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen like this. All right, so let's go ahead and throw in that last heel right there. Uh, check for corner huts at this point. Throw in that, we didn't use any of our poisons. Poisons could be used, uh, we didn't get any clan castle troops here, but poisons could be used on heroes to slow them down. It doesn't always have to be clan castle troops, but uh, it can slow heroes down while they're attacking. Ground skellies are really nice for to have that second poison with. Uh, really, I like to, so usually one will go on like the clan castle troops and the queen, and then the other one uh, I'll use on ground skeletons or the king if the king is chasing my hogs all around the base because ho uh, the king has been known to chase hogs all the way around the uh, base uh, almost from one end to the other so that's something you got to be aware of use that other poison to slow down those troops or take care of those ground skeletons that way they're not chasing your hogs around picking them off because remember until all the defenses are down the hogs are only going to target defenses so this is actually working pretty nicely Turns out I wasn't as rusty as I thought I might be, but let's keep it up. Let's see if we can find some more pretty decent bases. Uh, really, we want to find more and more with clan castles, but we'll, we'll see what we can find. That giant bomb there at the cleanup. We get the three star. Not bad, guys. We're making it happen with the hogs, and we're actually profiting loot. That's the best part. Profiting Dark Elixir. Let me go find some more bases, and we'll see what we can smack. All right, guys. This base seems like it'll be really simple, but it's actually going to be a little bit more complex because we have a lot of splash and our bows on the back side away from our kill squad. Uh, we could get a little bit more creative with our kill squad and go in, but I think what we're going to do is we're just going to come right in here. We'll explain it as we're going because I don't have time. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, set that funnel again. Uh, we'll put a wizard in that corner. Rather than go on that top side, I feel like we can get better value on this side going into like this wizard tower. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. We'll get that wall breaker in there. King, queen, bowlers. Alright, nice. And then what we'll do is we'll jump right on through here, hopefully clipping an expo along the way. Like that would be really nasty. If we can get to one of those expos... Like, you might be tempted to go from that top side up there, but I think we can get better value actually coming in from this bottom side. So that's why I chose to do that. We do have ground skellies coming out. No clan castle troops. Uh, so that's a bummer, but I want to, like I said, I want to practice this. I want to brush up all my skills before I just go rushing into wars. Uh, like, I, I, I've been preaching this a ton to you guys lately. Oh, I did not mean to drop all my hogs. I got to talk it. Uh, people ask me, like, how do you get better at war? Practice, guys. Practice, practice, practice. Even if you're not able to, like, hit FCs, use your war army while farming. At least, it won't be the same. By any means, it's not the same at all. But you'll be at least able to get a feel for how that army's gonna act and react and all that kind of great stuff. So, it's, I think it's not, it's not, like, as effective, but it's good to learn your army. What, oh, oh my goodness. Learn your army's weaknesses, like a double giant bomb, and learn how that army's gonna react in certain situations, uh, which we're doing here. Oh my goodness. Wow, this one looked really good, and then things went sideways in a hurry here. Let's put that there. Uh, we might not actually even triple this. 
Things went sideways in a hurry on this one, guys. Alright, Queen's gonna have to clutch up over here. Which we don't really have, like, a super high level Queen. I'm gonna let her run down as much as possible, because I want her pumped up shots on the Archer Tower. Alright, there we go. We get the Archers working through there. Oh, let's see if we can triple this one, guys. It's gonna be close. We got a Wizard on the storage. We got some archers going back to the storage, but the queen is not going to go for that storage. It's going to be close. We got that goblin trying to get through there. We got that corner hut. Oh man, the back end of that base was nasty. And that's something you can identify also. Is like in this situation, like identify the giant bomb spots. There's a lot of giant bomb spots on this base. Uh, so it was kind of like an, a mystery. But that's something when you're using hogs, you need to be aware of where can giant bombs be. Like, especially double giant bombs, because it used to, two giant bombs used to automatically take out your hogs. Nowadays, you can heal through it, but you have to be quick with the response time. Obviously, there, we didn't have any heals, so we kind of had to just take it. We get a little bit lucky, but we get the three star. Alrighty, guys, so again, this practice is not going to equate to being the same as practicing on a friendly challenge or in war. But again, we want to we learn how this army is going to work. So, up here, we got huge value for our kill squad. We get a bomb tower, we got wizard towers, we can get to the queen, we can get to the clan castle we can pull the clan castle with the hog if we need to uh so let's go ahead we'll start our funnel uh so that uh golem's actually gonna walk around there no big deal let's go ahead and get that in there get that in there we're going full right up the middle here let's go ahead and get our bowlers in and i want to get this jump down early and i'm going to send one hog in just to simulate that we were trying to take that clan castle out uh but there was obviously nothing in that clan castle let's go ahead and hit our king's ability queen's working around the outside we got golems working up the middle. Ooh, our queen's taking some damage, but that's all right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start running in our hogs over on this side. And we want them just to work up in the middle. I'm going to go pretty heavy on this hog lay down here. Uh, so we can get them up through the middle of the base. And then they'll kind of work in and clear out as they work down. Supported by the kill squad. If you can do this while your golems are still up, that is going to be the most ideal thing. Because obviously if your golems are still up... Not only are they going to tank for like the bowlers and everything else, they're also going to tank for the hogs. So that's why if you can get your hogs going in while a portion of your kill squad is still up, especially the golems, it's going to help out a bit. So uh, let's get our cleanup in. That way we're not too late on cleanup. Always be aware of your time. Don't take forever on your cleanup stuff. I'm going to poison that king. Look, the king is chasing the hogs all the way around the base. So by poisoning him, we'll slow him down. He actually goes back, so that's good. Or oh, he's going to go target the bowler. <laughs> Poor bowler. But hopefully this will be a little bit helpful for you guys to get started on the hogs. Uh, I get an idea of how to use some, or how to get like some good Town Hall 9 war content, which I'm going to probably do later this week or early next week. So I got ideas. Just give me some time. I wanted to get this out there for you guys because you guys have requested tons and tons of Town Hall 9 content lately. So I'm going to work on it for you. I mean, all the old Town Hall 9 stuff is still really relevant. Not a lot has changed at 9. Uh, it's just the way it is. But I I'll try to get you guys some fresh stuff out. So uh, yes, we were farming, but we still get a feel for the hogs here today. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upgrade both of our heroes. 42,000 for the king and... 44,000 for the queen to finish off there. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode. Let me know what other types of armies you guys want to see. Uh, we did do the Queen Pop Lalo, which is a quad Lalo, uh, our quad hound lava, our quad lava hound balloon attack uh and that went really well uh but like i said we'll get more war stuff going for you uh which slap's still gonna be good i, I got a lot of strategies at sound hall 9 i want to break down but hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing thank you so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications that way you don't miss any future uploads of mine and if you did happen to miss yesterday's video you can check it out right over there